Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is I'm recording myself right now in real time, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time. So in other words, I don't know what's coming next. So to respect your time, if you are looking for a video where the person's got hindsight in their favor and they're doing a trade recap or something like that, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted, nitty gritty, raw, dirty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will pause the recording software for now and I'll be back at market open. Have a call or have an order for a call at 2070. I am trying options here. Not trying, I'm doing options. I'm just trying to get filled. If you don't know what I mean when I say options, let me know in the comment section. Just type options guide and I will send you a link to a free class that I put together called the big basics of options. And I'll walk you through things so that all this makes sense to you as far as the terminology and, and whatnot. Okay, so right now I'm trying to, for a call. Twenty thirty. So, all right, I'll go ahead and pause, and if it looks like I might get filled, I'll get the video software rolling. I have an order at nineteen ten here. Yeah. Okay, just a second. My daughter's in here with me. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. Are right, you going to go for a contract here at twenty? for a call. All right, gonna go ahead and cancel that out. Let's go down to 1810 at this point, looking like it might let loose here to the downside. I'll go ahead and pause. Have an order at 1750 here for a call. And believe it or not, for a second it was get, it was close, but then it snapped back up. But options can move very, very quick. So we'll see. If if it wants to drop down, I will pause for now. Okay, I have an order at 1710 now. Yeah. It hit best bid, but did not fill me, so I gotta go down to 1650 now. Again, I was on best bid, did not get filled. So gonna make the adjustment down to 1650 now. Yeah. So we'll see if it can make another Push to the downside. Whoops. There we go. That gap got eliminated. That's why I jumped like that. This area over here all of a sudden went like that, but. <clears throat> okay, I'll pause. Sorry, <laughs> I'll give us some more clearance. I'd prefer the gap to still be there right now, so that's why I'm gonna keep like this. But it was getting close again, I thought, to making a potential move down. All right, I'll pause. Have an order at 1810. Nope, that's what I wanted. So we've got to go down to 1710 now. Oh, thank you. I don't know if the mic is picking up my daughter or not, but I am on youngest daughter duty while my other four are out at something else. So I have their youngest one. So she's hanging out, talking in the background. Again, I maybe maybe the mic's not picking it up, but if it is, that you're not hearing things. That's that's what's going on. Okay, I will pause and let's see if we can get this thing to pull it on a bit more. I have an order at twenty two ten. Oh, I was on the best bid. Oh, that was so close. Got to go to 1970 now. If you scroll back and look at the bed, I was just sitting there. Did not get filled though. So let's see and look for another push to the downside now. Yeah, it just stuck right here at 2210. All right, I will pause. Yeah. Okay, throwing an order out there. Nope, what am I doing? 1810. One at 1750. There we go. So we'll see if this wants to come up a bit more. All right, I'll pause. 
Whoops, um, I'm confused. Okay, 18. I turned my back and I looked back and I was filled and I'm out there for $50. <laughs> somebody, I'll show you what was going on. Uh, in the chat room, somebody asked me uh, what strike price. So I just talked about what you just witnessed right there. You can see was best bid at 2210 and it just sat there, did not get filled. And then somebody asked, you know, what strike price, no expiration date. So as I was answering that, today's expiration 4460 call, I got filled and uh, made 50 bucks on it. So it worked out just fine, but there's always that, you know, microsecond of panic of you weren't paying attention and then you look back and you're filled and you got a real quick access in your mind. Okay, what was the trade plan? Okay, and then, you know, everything turned out just fine, but that's kind of funny. That's how sometimes go, things go sometimes with uh, when you're trying to do multiple things, do a live video, talk in a chat room, look for stocks, make alerts, analyze your own things, manage your own things. So these, these in other words, these live trade videos are not the exactly the easiest things to do because there's a lot of, a, a lot of things going on, but we got the 50 bucks, so I'll take it. I'll go ahead and pause. Have an order at 23.50 here for a put. Um, I think 23.10 is gonna be the more accurate level now. Always a bit of a guessing game because you gotta figure out what's the, pro what's the contract gonna be when the price gets to a certain level. So for example, this. Something like 2250 might be the more accurate level. Yeah, I like 2250. All right, I'll pause. We'll see if we can get up there. Okay, maybe it can move so quick. That's why I'm erring on the side of caution because I don't want to miss the entry point like I did on that first one. All right, I'll pause. Okay, I'm on the best bid. Well, was on the best bid. Did not get filled. So we'll go to 2160 now and I will pause. Okay, maybe a quick move up. I'm at 2110. Come on. Oh, that's what I wanted. All right, I'll pause. Okay, maybe here, it's getting very jumpy as you can see. Going to 1970 now. All right, I'm gonna pause. Have an order at 1910. In 1910 for a call. And in at 1910. I look to add. And just taking a $10 gain, not Clearly not a good, not as good as entry point as I thought. Now, did that mean that I needed to go and take a loss? Did it mean that I needed to go for break even? It didn't, but I deemed it necessary to at least mean that, all right, you can't even really go for, um, you know, just go for a little bit above. So 10 bucks. Now, maybe there's a new opportunity that's arising here. So I don't want to give up on it yet. But as far as that entry point was concerned, yeah, just, uh, wasn't what I thought. So let's try 2510 now. I did change strike prices. That's why those prices have changed. And again, if you have no idea what I mean when I say strike prices, just let me know in the comment section, guide please. And I'd be happy to send you that guide. So, all right, that was, uh, I mean, it was a winning trade, but it was basically a, a losing trade in the sense of, 
I did not come anywhere close to what I wanted. Um, and yeah, as you saw, it wasn't a good entry point. So, all right, I'll pause. I'm at 25.10 in. and out for another nice little $50 scalp there. Very good. Uh, next interesting point up there at 449.65 ish. So we'll see if the price can get up there. So there you go. See, that was an entry point. That was good, right? I was in and out. I made 50 bucks and I don't know, what was that? Maybe five seconds, if that. Uh, let's go up to 2110. That's of course subject to change, but we'll see if the price can now work its way up to that yellow line. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. Having an order at 1930. Okay, that's what I wanted. So we got to go to 1870 now. Let's see another burst to the upside. Come on, come up a bit more. All right, I'll pause. Okay, I have an order at 1450 here for a put in. Out for another $50 and I gotta go. I gotta go pick up the kids and I need to leave like 30 seconds ago, but I saw this and of course it occurred right now. And of course I wanna sit here and try another trade, but I've gotta go. But there's another quick $50 before I hit the road. Well, I uh, I am back. I realize in video time, it, I, I, I was just here, but hours have passed since the last update. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it good and uh, pretty pleased actually with that final trade that allowed me to just uh, for the five seconds or 10 seconds, whatever it took right before I had to leave. Um, and um, yeah, would have been up over the $200 mark had that one worked out, but it didn't, and that's okay. Not all, not all trades are gonna work out. So I'll take what the market gives and move on to, to fight another day. So thanks for hanging out. If you enjoy these live trade videos, do a couple things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment below. Let me know how you did today. Uh, but commenting, hitting that like button to help out the algorithm, to help out the channel. And I really do appreciate it, especially because these videos are difficult to make because everything is happening live uh, in real time. So like I said, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. And again, if you want to learn more about options, go ahead, say options guide in the comment section, and I'll send you a link to that free guide. Everybody take care. Have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.